Do you ever catch yourself wondering about submarines? Probably not. Of all the modern, and even past, common forms of transportation, submarines definitely don't rank very high up in terms of how often the average person uses them. And, since we didn't even see submarines that frequently, it's probably not very likely that you'd be wondering about how they work. But, now you are. Have you ever thought about how long a submarine can stay underwater? The answer to this question is a bit more complicated than just a set amount of hours or days. This is because not only does the duration depend on multiple factors within the submarine, but it also depends on the type of submarine that's being used. For example, in the United States Navy alone, we see three main types of submarines. Attack subs, ballistic missile subs, and cruise missile subs. This of course doesn't include other types of submarines that are utilised outside of the military, such as deep submergence vehicles or DSVs. So, with so many different kinds of submarines, are they all created equal? How long can each type stay underwater? Well, before we answer that, let's take a look at what determines how long any submarine can stay underwater. For one, the method of power plays a huge role. In modern times, nuclear-powered submarines have become the preferred option because they're more reliable and longer-lasting than diesel alternatives in a wider variety of circumstances. The limitation factor on the time for which a modern nuclear submarine can stay submerged is not air, but food and other crew supplies. Theoretically, a modern nuclear submarine can stay submerged indefinitely because its onboard water distillation system makes oxygen from ocean water and also desalinates water for drinking. It only needs to surface for taking on food and other supplies when they run out. Although a diesel submarine could potentially last underwater for the same amount of time, unlike their nuclear counterpart, diesel subs require the use of a snorkel mast that allows for their air-breathing engine batteries to be recharged. This means that they cannot go too far underwater for very long, and may struggle in certain weather conditions that make it hard to keep the snorkel above water consistently. Diesel electric submarines, however, can stay submerged for far lesser durations, because it is powered by its diesel engines while on surface, and by batteries while submerged. Batteries have limited power and hence, run out much sooner, 36 to 48 hours depending on the submarine type, when that happens, the submarine has to surface to run on diesel engines again and recharge the batteries. Another factor is the quantity of supplies that the people within the submarine have. Generally, a 90-day supply of food is taken on a longer submarine mission, which would, of course, limit the time underwater to three months. This particular reason is why many people would consider three months to be the longest that a submarine can remain underwater. But technically, that's not really true. Submarines are limited by food supply and the endurance of their crews. Fresh water is made by distilling seawater and oxygen is produced by splitting water, H2O, into hydrogen and oxygen. The hydrogen is discharged overboard and the O2 is stored in tanks for future use. CO2 is removed from the air using an amine-based scrubber or by using lithium canisters an old-school method that is still used in emergencies. Any extra gases like carbon monoxide or hydrogen are turned into water vapour by a carbon dioxide slash hydrogen burner. In 2017, Wired actually published an article about a British submarine, the Astute, that is said to be able to remain underwater for 25 years. This is because the Astute class of submarines is nuclear-powered, and the types of nuclear reactors that are utilised in these subs can last for over 20 years and don't require recharging as the diesel options do. Britain isn't the only place where these nuclear submarines can be found though. The US Navy now uses nuclear instead of diesel, and some of those subs can supposedly last for over 30 years underwater. France, Russia, China and India all use nuclear submarines as well, although the latter two are unable to build their own and instead purchase from Russia. So, with the availability of nuclear submarines, it appears that there isn't really a hard limit for when a submarine would need to come to the surface. For diesel, 
As long as the sub is able to use its snorkel mast, the time limit seems unclear as well. But there still remains the factor of food supplies for the crew, of course, which isn't so easy to resolve. This is why the general estimate for how long a submarine can remain underwater is normally said to be 90 days, with usually around 110 days given as an absolute maximum. Although this may seem slightly disappointing, it's still major progress compared to the history of submarines, and even just since the technology of World War II. The average American submarine during the Second World War could actually only stay underwater for roughly two days, generally beating out even the Type 7 German U-boat. The German Type 21 was technically able to stay underwater for a consecutive 75 hours, but only two of these boats ever made it to sea in the final year of the war. These, of course, as with all the previous examples, are still not even guarantees. So many details, such as the submarine's activity while underwater, have an impact on its ability to remain submerged. But nonetheless, there has been clear and significant progress over the past century. What does this mean for the future of submarines? Well, it looks like there's a good chance we may continue the development of even more powerful and endurance submarines, just as we did between World War II and modern day. While the main key to extending the span of submarine expeditions may rely specifically on finding ways to store more food supplies on each vessel, instead of having to increase the endurance of the submarine itself, it's nevertheless a challenge that must be overcome if we want to actually send a submarine underwater for a year, let alone over 20. So for the time being, it looks like the longest a submarine can stay underwater is merely a few months before it would need to come to the surface to restock its supplies. <laughs>